Today we're gonna show you our morning routine here at the ranch. Our first step is to throw feed all over the sidewalk. So we just grabbed two squares of hay and now we're gonna throw it to mowers. Here you go, girl. That girl is a healthy cow. Our munjack deer are really hungry today, so let's start feeding these guys. Here we go, putting it on their little slab they have right here. So we grabbed the bowl from last night, pick it up, put that one down, and all that food will be gone in the next 15, 20 minutes or so. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch. Today is a beautiful day here in South Florida and we're about to start our morning routine here at the ranch. And this is how we start it every single day. You guys are probably looking at me right now a little awkwardly and a little weird. Yeah, I kind of shaved my beard for the new year and we're gonna see how that rides. So let me know in the comments if you think I should let it cut or let it long. Anyways, let's get to the back and let's start doing our things. I've already been back there already actually because I had to clean the floors, make sure everything looks beautiful and nice because this is something that has to get done every single day. Let's get back there and let's start feeding. All right, so I throw a little bit of food for everybody every single morning. All the birds over here are just miscellaneous birds that I have no idea why they're even over here. They should be in the chicken side, but they always fly back over and they always figure their way out. So they're just special ones and they just stay over here. So we're gonna keep on going and dropping food around. So the goat section and the chicken section is a little muddy right now because of the fact of last night we had a cold front that came in and it's not cold today, it's gonna get cold this weekend. And we're gonna show you a bunch of videos coming up in the next few days because it's about to get really cold here in South Florida and the animals don't like it. And prayers for all you guys up in North United States. I see all the videos on TikTok and Instagram and everything. You guys are going through it. It is crazy how deep the snow is. I would not be able to survive in that kind of weather. Now we're entering our farm area of our goat section. And like I mentioned, it's a little muddy today because it rained last night. So we have this whole bucket of feed right here. And this whole bucket of feed, we do it two times a day. So right now what we're about to do is we start throwing feed down. So. We throw feed in all the dry spots every single time and everybody eats this. It gets picked up very, very, very quickly. And like I mentioned, the goats are only gonna tap the top of the grain. After that, they move on to another pile because they don't wanna eat the dirt or anything of that sort. And then all the little crumbs and all that stuff, the birds pick it all up so that no rats or anything is touched from that. All right, so we're dropping food down and we drop a lot of food down because we have a lot of birds. We have about 60 something chickens here on the ranch and it's a miscellaneous of birds inside of here. And then on top of that, as you guys know, we have the city girls that are inside of here too now, our two Rias, and then we also have our African crown cranes, we have guinea fowl, we have turkeys, and then just a bunch of different types of chickens. And then we're gonna go over here real quick because my favorite chicken, while I'm doing this, you guys are probably not realizing, I'm not looking at you at the camera, because I am making sure that every single bird is coming and eating. The reason why I like to feed in this way is because I have a lot of animals here and I like to make sure all the birds are eating. If I don't see all the birds are eating, that means something might be happening with a bird right now, which means it could be sick, something could happen, I might have to treat it with antibiotics or any of that things. So we come over here and we come this way because I know my girl, football is right underneath there. So what I do is throw a little bit of food down for my girl football and she'll come out and come and eat. She knows she's the special one and she doesn't wanna go with all the other chickens and fight too much because she's my oldest chicken here on the ranch. She's almost 15 years old and living her best life. So you guys are probably wondering, why is everybody eating this stuff? So inside of here is a little bit of scratch corn, a little bit of layer pellet, and then a mixture of livestock grain. I've been doing this for years and all my animals are 100% healthy with this and there's no situation with me feeding them all this whatsoever. So now we're gonna move over and come into this section. As you guys saw, we literally have three sections of chickens. We have the first section, the main section, and in this section, the chickens can go back and forth because there's a hole underneath the fence, which is fine and um, they love it. So that's Moors. She gets a little bit of grain right there. Again, she'll only eat to the top layer, stop, and the chickens will eat the rest. We're walking this way now. We got Benny. Benny likes a little bit. I don't give him a lot. Just a little bit, just like that. And then the rest of this bucket right here goes inside of here. And that grain right there, is a mixture of, like I just said, livestock grain, scratch, and layer pellet. And then in the afternoons, you guys will see that in another video, they get emu diet from Missouri. So my male uh, emus right here, my female, I guess we're gonna go find her, somewhere in here. And every single day now, we're about to be seasoned for our laying season. So we're gonna be getting eggs very, very soon with our emus, and I'm really hoping that these guys are gonna be fertile. Uh, so I'm always looking around for a bright green egg. Sometimes the male might hide it. Last year, we only got four eggs. Hopefully this year we break that point and then we get some more eggs. So now we're gonna come over here and make sure all my birds are good. Come inside, check it all out. All right, everybody's good. Any eggs, anything of that sort? Nope, everything looks great. Water, food, all good. 
Birds look amazing. We're still not flying yet because they still need to get used to this area. And we're actually going to be rehoming a few of these birds because some of them are not all racers. And I don't want to have any mixed birds inside here. The only mixed birds that we're going to have are these high flyer pair that's right there. But then we have this one right here. I forget the name of it, but I know that's not a species of racer. And then we have these two type of Cuban pigeons that are right here that we don't want either. So we're going to be rehoming those as well. Let's get out and keep on moving. So we just checked that section over there. She's not over there. So now we're gonna come over here and check this out. I like to get a head count every single day, two to three times a day on all my animals to make sure everybody's good and everybody's well. You guys can probably see in the distance over there, we have our African spur thigh sulcatas, or I made two different names in one. They're over there just uh, tanning, getting their morning tan. And I can see that my girl is inside of here right now. What's up girl? You good? Everything's all right? No eggs yet? All right, girl, no eggs yet. She's doing good. She'll come out and get some food soon. Uh-oh. Morris is like, you got food for me? You got food for me? No, I don't got no food for you, girl. We're going to get you hay right now. That's what's next. All right, so we come inside of here every single morning, and we collect all of our eggs so that our eggs don't sit here overnight and they go bad or anything like that. So we got a, we got a good amount of eggs every single day now. We're getting about a dozen eggs, so it's pretty awesome. So fresh eggs is never a bad thing. And uh, we get a bunch of different color eggs, so it's pretty dope. Check that out on the light for you guys look at that nice group of eggs right there now we got to feed our hay so we just grabbed two squares of hay and now we're going to throw it to mowers here you go girl that girl is a healthy cow so we just threw some hay to mowers now we spread out three squares of hay for all the goats the donkeys and our zebus that are inside of this area the zebus have calmed down a lot they've been chilling out they've been coming up to us a lot lot more often we still haven't gotten halters for them yet so we definitely need to do that but other than that Everyone's doing good. Let me grab one more square and then we're done in the farm area. All right, so this is our next step right here, going to the back section of the ranch. And like we talked about earlier, all the grain is completely gone. Just enough for all the birds to get filled up and just enough that there's no more on the ground and nothing is left behind. So now where we're going is we're heading to the back. And first up, who we're gonna feed are our cassowaries. So we have our bowl right here for our cassowary. We're gonna head there right now. It looks like Christmas back here because we have our cold front coming in. So we have light all around back here right now for all of our tortoises. So it's gonna be a little bit different, but it's all right. So we grab the bowl from last night, pick it up, put that one down and all that food will be gone in the next 15, 20 minutes or so. Inside of there right now, we have a protein diet. We have a Missouri ratatai diet and a bunch of different types of bananas blueberries, grapes, and all sorts of different types of fruits and everything in it. But um, this is every single day, 365 days a year. Everything that you guys are seeing, we do it every single day. Rain, shine, cold, hot, doesn't matter what it is. Now, we gotta get inside the aviary. Walking inside the aviary, our trumpeters are hungry and ready to go. As you can see, their bowl is completely empty and they're waiting for our, their next meal. Keep on moving. Our Turacos know that this is our food section, as you guys can see. So there they go. Watch out, girls and boys. Come inside here. Come over here. Keep that door closed. Food is completely gone because they are hungry. Okay. Excited, guys, today, huh? Yeah. All right. They are some funny birds. All right. Moving right along. And inside of here, we have a little bit of scratch, layer pellet, and waterfowl diet for their food trays right here. We go right here, drop some there, and we come down this way. All the ducks know it's feeding time. Everyone's talking, as you can see, and drop the rest here. Now we walk our hole around with Avia real quick, make sure everything is good. Always got to make sure our net and everything looks good. Our water's running, birds look good, turtles look good. This is our biggest ecosystem on the ranch. So it takes a lot more time and a lot more looking over than any other enclosure because of the fact that there's so many plants and everything. So here we go. Everything looks good. I'm looking at everything. And one good thing about me walking around this whole entire thing, it just, uh, I'm like the, the spider web knocker offer. So my, fur, my head's the one that gets the knock off every single morning. And Contra's right there behind us. Everything looks good, everything looks good. If you guys have not been following me on Instagram, you guys are missing out on the big giant surprise that we had here at the ranch. There's something absolutely special over there right now. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, 5,000 likes and put it down in the comments if you guys wanna see that surprise. Let's keep on moving because now where we're going is we are gonna go feed a munjack deer. We see Marty, we see the tortoises, we're looking at everybody, making sure everybody looks great and perfect and everybody looks amazing. Our munjack deer are really hungry today. So let's start feeding these guys. 
here we go putting it on their little slab they have right here i put through this twice a day You're getting a little sweet potato apple green beans and a little bit of mixed corn and grain there you go girls and boys now let's move on and go take out oliver and cali entering inside of oliver's home they are ready to come out i turn on the water just a little bit so they have a little bit extra splash come over here close that door behind us open that up and oliver comes out so it's a little hard to film oliver and cali went right when they come out because they get really excited and we feed them at lunchtime but that is all you guys that is a full morning tour here at blake's exotic animal ranch and we still have a couple more animals we still have to go see we have our crown pigeons in the front that we have to feed and we got to check out our uh, fish but make sure you guys subscribe to the channel put your post notification on because stay tuned i think me and cassandra are going to be posting for the rest of the month to end off the year absolutely amazing hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out everyone